Hey, Gavox here. So, you've won some head-to-head -head games and gotten some series trophies. What should you do with them? Let's go through that and the problem with them today on Gut Fox Now. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Maybe could have been a little bit smoother, but I feel like we nailed that one. Okay, so I got this idea, and I appreciate when you guys reach out to me on Twitter. Even if I don't like or reply to your comments, I see it. Um, and he says, can you make a video on the best thing to do with series trophies? So this one's for you, Tom Smith, a.k.a. Mamba Mentality. Love the name. So, series trophies. What's going on with it now? We've talked about them before. I want to talk about them here right now, what to do with them right now, because there's a lot of confusion around John Madden, which of these packs are best to, to buy with them, um, and so forth. So, let's get through it. I think I'm going to start with the best thing to do, and then I'm going to go forward into like why John Madden is the way he is, and why EA kind of screwed that up this year, and we'll go into the math behind it. So, let's go through this, right? So there's the Wheel of Coins pack, which somebody's like, oh, I did really good on this. But most of the time, you're going to lose. Lose out. Basically, get 1K. Okay? Maybe you could try it. Maybe you could go through a large sample size. Something I could do, because I've got 440 trophies. And maybe I could do a bunch of Wheel of Packs, see how it turn out. Maybe in the future. Maybe we'll do that for a video. I don't know. But anyways, Hail Mary pack, 10 of them for just a silver pack. That's like a Twitch, Twitch drop pack. You know how terrible those are. Midfield packs, 10K for 35. Or... 25k for 85 so 35 times 2 is 70 70 so to 20k plus that 25k yeah so the red zone pack just through a mental little mental math is better than the midfield pack okay for the quick sell the packs themselves you're always better off taking the coins and the cards because 170 overall gold the better player you're gonna get like a low gold out of that. This one is a 75 overall gold player, so you're gonna get like a 370 overall golds. You potentially can get a uh, elite out of that. That's not bad, but I'd rather have the 25k guaranteed, especially at a large sample size. If you want to pull it and try and get lucky, that's one thing. Uh, but generally, the, the coins are worth it. Touchdown pack. This one's kind of weird, right? So obviously, you get a guaranteed elite player. That's kind of cool. Plus a 75 overall and 270 overalls. That's neat. But when you look at the actual coin value behind them, the red zone pack. At 25k and the touchdown pack at 50k it's weird because you'd think touchdown pack would be less than double the amount of price of the red zone pack but in fact 85 times 2 is less than 175 right it's just 170 so if you want the maximum return for your trophies you definitely want to get this red zone pack i could see the gamble for an 85 plus elite player most likely you'll be disappointed but you know what Life's a gamble, dig it. I think that's what Joe Dirt said about gardens, and we'll say it about life. So, definitely the best return on value is the red zone pack, taking the coins out of that one. Don't get the touchdown packs. So, right here, this 85 to 86 overall superstar MVP fantasy. This is something we can look on Mutthead for, and I'll bring you over there. We we'll just go to program, um, superstar MVPs, overall 85 to 86, and see what we get. So, we get at maximum 92. Minimum 61-ish for 500 trophies. If I were to spend 500 trophies, I would rather have the 85 plus because this can go over 86, right? This is, oh, I can get out of the way. So this could get like, you know, 90, right? If it's any card in the game, maybe a limited time card. So this one's a huge waste. I don't even know why this one's in the game. Series 1, Team Captain Tokens, definitely don't do that. Definitely do the solos for that one. Don't waste your uh, trophies on that. Coach Madden Collectibles. All right, this is kind of where I want to talk about like the main problem with head-to-head -head right now. There's no series master. Remember that? Like, uh, it feels like there was something to go for, something to grind for. It was basically the replacement. After Mutt Master lost its head-to-head -head, uh, requirement, we are like, okay, well, now what should we grind for? Here it is. There's a series master. There's Von Miller that we had last year, I think, as a launch one. Um, other cards, they updated every series. And then there was Coach Madden, who provided this huge boost, because the plus one speed's kind of phenomenal, right? That's a huge boost to a lot of cards on your team. This year, which, which is funny... Uh, 600 trophies for it, okay? And you're like, okay, well, it, it still gives you some scheme boost and stuff. Well, if we actually break it down, I did this based off that, you know, what should we do with the trophies? I looked at it, the gold coaches versus Coach Madden, right? So I have a gold coach on my roster right now, which I'll show you. Um, and I also have Coach Madden's card, but let's go to, let's go to our item binder so we can see all the coaches. And type. Type, 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 coach. 
I got three of them, Coach. I got Coach John Madden. And remember, we get this speed, and everybody's like, oh, it was a great idea. Physical chemistry slot one. And physical chemistry slot one is not what we thought it was. When it said that, last year it gave us speed, and a boost of speed. This year is just giving us sprinter, brawler, acrobat, that kind of shit, okay? Uh, if you have to, if you had to ask, just ask Fancy. He was like, he's been, oh my God, I'd, I'd be so pissed if I wasted 3,000 on that just to find that out. But anyways, so this is 600 chem per item slot upgrade, and these are scheme chems, okay? So what's the point of Coach Madden when you get eight scheme chems for those four unlocks, at least at, at least at Series 1, right? There is a potential Madden will grow. Maybe Gold Coaches will too. I don't know if they will, but I don't think they didn't grow last year. They probably won't grow again this year. So Madden might get better down the road. But eight scheme chems, two physical chems like Sprinter versus a Gold Coach, which is 10 scheme chems right away, and a Theme Team chem. And I know Theme Team chems are a little bit of a value because that actually adds speed to you. So 600 trophies times five for the five unlocks plus the Coach Madden cost, 3,020. And that equals 36 red zone packs. So it's about 880,000 coins to get that John Madden in, in relative terms. And that doesn't include the grind. Head to head is an absolute like grind fest. You're playing at that level. Some of the best players in the game. It's not easy to win, but they still make you try and do it. Um, so it's it's hard. It's it, This is a long time. Whereas gold coach and training, the, it, relative cost is 430,000 coins. And if you buy that from the coin sponsor, that's like, you know, money you can spend. You can spend like, I don't know, a couple hours working for that just IRL spend it on that site or open packs and then it's there it's yours whereas like John Madden and and what he takes is is like you know to get that many trophies probably a hundred hours maybe more it's insane uh, if you're good so and that's just a rough estimate I don't know it could be higher than that versus just a couple of hours working or just some money for that one so it, it's it's an interesting thing where like the gold coach is actually better than coach Madden and that's not even factoring in the fact that Coach Madden had to grind for him. Versus last year, he felt like an accomplishment. So, like, Coach Madden and what to do with trophies, definitely spend it on the packs. Don't go for Coach Madden right now. Unless EA comes out and say, hey, we're going to give him physical slums, uh, chems down the road where he will get speed. And that's the only kind of thing that you'd screw yourself out, right? If you do decide to go with, uh, did I say do you? No, I just said do. Um, red zone, you're kind of, like, screwed down the road if they end up deciding to fix Coach Madden. So, like, that's the thing. I wish EA would communicate with us what to do on these packs and what to get like what's coming down the line for coach madden please communicate because right now you can't i can't recommend him to anybody it's an absolute waste for coach madden because he doesn't give you as many scheme cam boosts as just a gold coach right now coach tomlin that uh did i show off coach tomlin or not that coach tomlin gets for only four hundred thirty-one thousand coins in relative training costs versus double that price for john madden and then like the theme team cam i think is actually right now better than the physical cam for sprinter because it, it, I feel like it's harder to get theme team cards than sprinter cards. I mean, I don't know. That one's kind of a wash, I guess, um, for, for Mike Tomlin here. Once you get it. Because, I don't know, sprinters are kind of hard to get, too. They're kind of expensive. But, yeah. I don't know. I think it's a major problem with them right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know on Twitter. Any more video ideas or things you want to have explained about what to do in this game. Definitely hit me up on the Twitters. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, red zone packs. And just go for the gold coach. I mean, you can maybe see, hopefully EA communicates out with this. Like, hopefully they say something on GMM soon about Coach Madden. But uh, that's it. That's what to do with the trophies.